Mastering questions. Open-ended and closed-ended questions. Hello, language enthusiasts. We're here with another fantastic lesson on conversational English. Today, we're diving into the world of questions, specifically focusing on open-ended and closed-ended questions. By the end of this video, you'll be able to form your own questions confidently, making your English conversations more engaging and interactive. To kick things off, let's first understand what a question is. A question in English is a sentence structured to elicit information. We often use questions to start conversations, gather details, or clarify uncertainties. But did you know that there are different types of questions? Yes, they're broadly categorized into open-ended and closed-ended questions. Let's begin with closed-ended questions. These are the type of questions that can be answered with a simple, yes, or, no, or with a brief piece of information. They don't usually offer the opportunity for detailed or elaborate responses. Examples of closed-ended questions include 1. Do you like coffee? 2. Is it raining outside? 3. Are you a student? These questions are useful when you need specific information or when time is limited. Next, we have open-ended questions. Unlike closed-ended ones, these invite a more detailed, thoughtful response. They often start with, how, why, what, describe, among others. Here are some examples. 1. What do you like about living in New York? 2. How would you handle a disagreement with a coworker? 3. Why did you choose to study engineering? Open-ended questions are great for sparking conversation, getting to know someone better, or understanding a situation more deeply. Now you might wonder, when should I use which type? Well, that depends on the context and your objective. If you simply need factual information or confirmation, use closed-ended questions. If you're looking to start a conversation or dig deeper into a topic, open-ended questions are your best bet. We've covered a lot, and now it's time to practice. Take a moment to think about both types of questions. Try forming five open-ended and five closed-ended questions about your favorite hobby, your family, or your work. Practice them with a friend or in front of a mirror. Well, that wraps up our lesson on open-ended and closed-ended questions. By understanding and using both types of questions, you can navigate English conversations more effectively and build deeper connections with others. Keep practicing, and remember, every question is an opportunity to learn more. Stay curious, keep learning, and we'll see you in our next video.